have found a Goodwill that I did not know existed and that I have never been into in my nearly 10 years here in Vegas. This is exciting. Let's go see what we can find. Come on. music was too loud to keep that sound in um, but next I spotted this little Asian trinket box and it's not really the type of thing I sell but I had a suspicion this could possibly be silver and for three bucks that's definitely worth figuring out I thought this guy was chalkware and he was gorgeous and then I picked him up and he was really lightweight so he was like a plastic resin not very good quality but he was beautiful and I spot this little amberina crackle glass I wasn't thrilled with the $3.99 price but I went ahead and grabbed it it should sell for between $15 and $20 This thing was so heavy. Um, I was trying to get to that blue, that vintage blue vase art glass, which was also very heavy. And um, I contemplated getting this, but it was $14.99. So at $15, this would have to sell for like 40 or 50 for me to be in the profit margin that I wanna be in. Probably not gonna happen. <gasps> Hello. Yes, you are going home with me. These shelves were just loaded with goodies. I was trying to figure out, I knew it was a state, and I could not figure out what state it was. I'm, now I'm thinking, is it Florida? Um, this is EAPG. I was quite certain of that. What I was debating is, <sighs> was I going to be able to find another chimney for it and come up with enough words to describe it? So for $2.99, I decided I'd give it a whirl because I really love researching glass. So uh, it will not be time spent unwisely. I loved this uh, until I turned it over and saw the big Made in China. This looked like a chess piece to me, but it was just a, it was a candle holder and only being one, I left that. And I spot this Eskimo and he feels like a stone. Um, I, it's reminding me of something I have seen before. Um, so my gut was telling me, take him. This was a very vintage piece. It reminded me of American Bisque, but it did have a pretty significant chip there, so I did leave that one behind. This appears to be an older bottle, but it's missing a stopper, so I left that one. These have the Made in China sticker right on there. Now this guy also appears to be an American Bisque piece. And he didn't have any chips, so he went in the cart. Or maybe it's a she. Who knows? I 
I thought that was wood. I actually was hoping it was wood because I don't want to ship a cookie jar that is pottery. I have no idea what this piece says, but it's too little to really be worth much. And then I spot these little kitties and they wanted $3 each. So I was really thinking about it, um, but just, it had little um, defects and the painting on the eyes was not very good. So quality wise, I didn't think that they were worth much. <laughs> I just love this guy. Look, he wobbles. Yeah, he's not old, but he's definitely got the cute factor, so I picked him up. And then this. I don't even know what to call this. It's paper. I don't know. I think it's Hello Kitty, but that was just an... I mean, it was well done, but I don't, I don't even know what it is. Checking out for some bunnies, looking for the bunnies. This would have had, what would have been right here? I don't know, okay, it's got these little clips. Well, I did a little research and found that this would have had a big windmill behind it. So that's the piece that was missing. This basket dish thing was odd and interesting, but it's not really my kind of thing to sell. I love this little tin mousse ornament, uh, but not for $2.99. Had he been 99 cents, I probably would have grabbed him just because he's cute. These were pewter, I believe. Um, quite heavy, interesting, uh, but I do believe they were modern and their condition was not that great. I haven't been able to find any comps. All I can find is little salt and peppers that are the same shape, but these were not salt and peppers. I actually need some of these down at the booth. They were a buck 49, so I grabbed them. So I decided to park the cart and turn off the camera so I could have both hands. So I spot this is a Bergsma, 1998. This one is numbered, although it is a high number on the print, uh, but I do think these sell quite well because they're just so darn cute. So I spotted these Basset Hound frames and you know I'm a sucker for doggies. And this one really just, I was so sad because somebody actually had basset hounds and there's their picture and like, why did they get rid of them? But there was another one up here, which I'll show you. Uh, they were asking $6 a piece for these and really, even as cute as they are, they only bring from 10 to 15 at the most. At some dishes. What is that? That looks... one underneath it. I can't see it. Ugh. It looks like... I'm not sure. They're Disney. But I think there's something missing. I had to dig a little to find these, but uh, there are no sold. Only a couple of active listings, so I'm not sure these are reasonable comps on these, but I probably should have picked them up. This is a fairly common piece of milk glass. These were cute. I think it says floral fantasy. Hmm. I really love how they rubber band all these little sets together. 
makes it nice and neat on the shell. I like these. They had a really neat, like a 60s vibe to them, but they were Meekin, and Meekin is generally not a real good seller. I like these because they had hummingbirds. They are totally today made in China. Here we are at all of the clear glass. Um, these vases are like a dime a dozen. It's really funny though, whenever I need a vase for flowers, I never have one. And it's like, ugh, I could pick them up all day long. I probably should just pick one up. But I'm scanning for anything that just has like a vintage vibe to it or is unusual or just looks expensive. You know, like Serenity. But you can see it was only $9.99 when it was new. And then they wanted $4.99 for it. look on those bottom shelves too. You gotta look at it all. Look at it all. You never know where you're gonna find the good stuff. I mean, I gotta search, I gotta search through the fake flowers, but boy, lately the prices have been pretty insane. Like $2 for one twig. What's this one? 99 cents? but it's pretty rough. They have to actually like be in almost new condition for me to reuse them. Okay, these caught my eye. They are wood. I am not exactly sure what they are for, but they're signed and they're cute. And they come in this little holder. I think they might be egg cups, maybe? I don't know, if you got some ideas, let me know down in the comments. a very simple looking chicken for $5.99. Pass. I'm seeing a lot of letters lately at all the thrift stores. There, I turned it over so people could actually see it. This is a really cute little music box. Definitely vintage. Now they want $5.99, so it's a little bit of a risk until I turn it over and see that it is a Rouge. I think that's how you say that. Very good brand in the music box business. And it's just cute. This looks like 1970s. It's just a uh, silverware case. I'm not actually sure if these do well all on their own or not. Elephant. Not a very good looking one though. Neopets. Is that still a thing? Somebody let me know that down in the comments. I have no idea if Neopets are a vintage thing or a new thing. This shelf just drew my attention with all the baggies of stuff and I spot this. This is vintage ribbon. Now it's 
$4.99, but there's three of them in there, and I'm pretty sure that's a good buy. I'll give that to my mom to sell on Etsy. I spot these. They're, oh, I don't even know what you, how you describe them, but they are, they're on silk and they've used some different materials and then I see the peacock and then I'm like oh yeah I'm getting these um, I got some other Asian art recently so now I will have a whole bunch to list at the same time peacocks are really popular right now Good. Oh, you're going in there. I'm sorry. I'm sure it just totally made you guys all busy right there. <laughs> it's a sock monkey. Double handled. For 99 cents. Of course I'm going to get sock monkey. For 99 cents. Yes, sir. You're not allowed to touch. Okay. This is a really cool mug. It is Pirates of the Caribbean. This means something on $5.99 for it. So, not grabbing that one right now. Let's see. What else can I find on the shelf? Interesting. You know what? I don't want to leave my cart over here. Let's look over here. What is this? Okay, so the music got loud there. Uh, so we have to go back to this method. And I'm just kind of searching these shelves for something. So far, this has been a pretty good trip. I'm quite pleased with what I've found. Check out this pie plate. I love these things, but they take forever to sell. I have sold them in the past for around 20 bucks. Hofbrau House. Hey, which is funny because that's actually the name of a restaurant here in Vegas, but I think it has to do with something in Germany. This is so mid-century. It just that atomic feel to it. Um, so I am going to grab this. And then I spot the Blendo pitcher on the shelf as well. So I grab that also. So you can see I did put the Blendo into my cart. I also spotted these cute little things by TST Genuine Oven Serveware. USA and uh, just on the color alone I think those will sell well and I also picked up that chip and dip art pottery piece which I will probably sell down at the booth for about 25 to 30 dollars this had a very vintage look to it and sure enough it is a Franciscan piece I am not sure what this pattern is uh, but for $2.99 I am going to figure it out Yes, I do see the potato. So you may remember at the very beginning of the video, I walked right by this piece 
And I went back and I found it's a, a Whittier pottery. It's a California pottery piece. It is beautiful. I don't know why I didn't pick it up the first time. In all of my excitement, I forgot to film an outro video, but I just want to thank you for staying to this point in the video. I really appreciate you, and I'll keep churning out the content as long as you're still here watching. I'm in San Diego finding some really fun stuff, I hope, uh, and I will be live on Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, as usual, to share with you what I've found. So until then, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.